ください。Alright, hi guys. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to get this cool waves background that I have on my PlayStation. As you can see, it looks pretty cool, yeah. So, um, what you need to do is first you need to head towards your Rebug toolbox, and then when you get there, just open it up. And um, what I'll do is I'll have all the lines like in a download in the description for you, like in a folder. And you guys will be able to use the lines. So, um, yeah, this is a folder that you're gonna have. It'll look like this. Um, we're gonna grab one of the lines out of the non compiled, like the, the ones that don't need to be compiled, just for like simplicity. We'll go for the easiest one first. Um, if you guys don't wanna use the, um, if you guys don't wanna use like the, FileZilla to copy your lines and you want to install it through Multiman then wait until the end and I'll show you But if you guys want to do it this way, which is much easier and faster just keep following from now And um, so yeah, you go into this folder and you can choose through all of the different ones in here or the different lines So what you do is then you go to FileZilla log into your PlayStation Like so Click on the rebug folder click on the VSH folder then go into resource folder and the last one, QGL. Open that one up. And here you should see lines.qrc. Now, you might want to keep your old lines, like your originals, just in case you don't like the one that you download. You might want the original ones. All you have to do is copy this, paste it into a folder that you want to keep. Like, paste it somewhere you know you won't lose it and you know what it's going to be. And, you know, it's yours. Just chuck it back in whenever you want it. Like, pretty simple. So let's say I want to try the blue purple two lines. Alright, we'll try this one out. All you do is click that one there, drag it and drop it straight in there. Bang. Alright, press OK. It'll copy, it's done as you can see. We'll go back to the um, PlayStation, just exit out of the Rebug toolbox, like so. And as you get to the X and B, you should be able to see the new lines. As you can see, those are my new lines there. I don't know why it took so long to load. My PVR must be having a little bit of um, stuff up, but anyways. So yeah, you can see the new lines in the background waving around. Looks pretty cool. Yep. Um, okay, so well, that's how to install them without using the multi-man way. This is the easy way, so you guys can finish up if that's it you guys are done download will be in the description don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos of customization of your playstation 3 and um some modding videos coming up soon for cods and other games all right thanks now but for everyone else who's still waiting to see the multi-man method i'll show you how to do that now what you have to do is you have to come to this folder that, I, that i've got for you and um, you click on this lines creator dot bat tool. All right. So what it does is you can choose any lines. Now let's say you want to try the electric green and yellow. So just press three on your keyboard, and it'll come up down here at the bottom. Three, as you can see. Hit enter. It'll create it. That looks pretty cool. That batch file. Yeah. His credits are there. Bruno Lee. Bruno Lee. Yep. It says it's created. Okay, so you get this file here that says lines. Now that's not like right yet. You can't copy that yet. So what you do is you have to go and encrypt it. So you click this file here. And it essentially converts it to the file that we need, which is a .qrc. So if you see now, it's a lines.qrc file. Now, what you can do is you can do the same thing as I showed you before and copy it straight into the console through Rebug Toolbox and FileZilla. Or if you want to use the um, the method that you would use Multiman, just click on this file here now that says the lines zip creator. And what it will do is just click run and it will 
convert it into a zip for you so if you open it up it'll look pretty much the same as um what it did like going through the file manager with filezilla so it'll be vsh resource qgl and then your lines.qrc in there so just close that don't rename this whatever you do also won't work properly now what you do is just chuck it onto your usb from your computer i'm not going to do that because i don't have one on me right now but um yeah just copy it to the root of your usb and then um plug it into your playstation and i'll show you what to do from there so what you do is you have to go into your playstation go into multi-man open that up and um when you load into multi-man should be able to see all your stuff like normal so just go all the way over to the left side and then it should say multi-man and then it should say file manager slash mmos like the folder icon just look for that scroll down until you find it I think it's like the second one down yeah so click on that and open up the file manager and then go up to the top where it says root open that up come up as a box what you have to do is now you have to go for you it will be dev underscore usb 000 if you put it in the rightmost port of your playstation or something along those lines i'm pretty sure that's right but but for me i put it in my hdd before so just skip this part that i'm doing now just open up your usb and um then you should see whatever else is on the usb in the folder and just look for the file that says ps3 dev blind dot zip this one like this should look like this double click it it'll say installable package do you want to install just press yes it'll do its stuff it'll install it press ok x out of it and then um you can press r1 to change your theme or your background back to the way it was before and then after that just hold the playstation button quit out of the game or multi-man i should say when you get to your xmv again the lines should be the new lines you just installed for me they're the green ones all right thanks guys again don't forget to rate comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos more modding and more um customization of the ps3 i'll be showing you how to customize the psn logo how to customize cold boots like for when the playstation turns on and how to customize some game boots so like when you start a game or an application Alright, thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the video.